I'm excited to share with you spiritual practices that will sustain you and I. And uh, Reverend Ken Shigematsu is our guide. And now we're going through a whole collection of exercises that will help us stay fresh with God. Let's start with silent meditation. Silence. How does it work? Sure. Well, I'm a very easily distracted kind of guy. At any given time, I can feel like there are 1,014 chimpanzees jumping around in my head. Okay. And so at some point in the morning, Lorna, I simply take some time to sit and breathe deeply. Breathing in through my nose, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. And then I start to wonder, how much time has gone by anyway? So I'll reach for my phone, not to check my text messages, but to open up a free app called Centering Prayer. There's a timer, I'll set it to maybe 20 minutes, so I'm not thinking about the time. And I continue to breathe in and out of my nose. I'm not sure if you could hear that, but a chime went off. Yeah. As though I were in a monastery being summoned to pray by a bell. So I'm no longer thinking about the time. Breathing in, breathing out. But then I start to think of all the things I ought to be doing, my to-do list. And so I'll reach for my Bible, maybe on my phone or a hard copy Bible, or maybe simply draw on a text of scripture that I'm familiar with, like be still and know that God is God. And every time I'm distracted, I simply repeat the scripture to focus my mind, be still and know that God is God. Lorna, I live near the ocean in Vancouver. You so, also pastor four churches. I'm just thinking, yeah. wow, to sit there for a stillness is yeah. a bit of a challenge. So I love being out in the water, kayaking or uh, out on a sail. And there have been times when I've been out on the water and I've seen salmon jumping at 45 degree angles out of the water. <sighs> oh, I've seen cool. pods of dolphins, on rare occasions, even whales. And sometimes when I'm simply sitting in silence, I feel like I'm surrounded by this beautiful, mysterious presence that upholds me and love and the whole world. But at other times, when I've been out on the water, I've seen an empty garbage bag, an empty Coke bottle, maybe some debris. And sometimes when I'm sitting in silence, I feel anxiety rising up in my heart, or some resentment, or a feeling of envy towards someone. And I just lift these up to God in prayer, and I feel purged of them. Okay, so the spiritual practice of silence yeah. gives you the ability to be purged. To be purged of and free. Of garbage. Yeah, of garbage. And, and when I'm done, I feel lighter. I feel freer. And throughout the day, just a bit more relaxed and aware of, of Jesus. Okay, the spiritual practice of being still mm -hmm. and knowing that God is God, it is the first of the spiritual practices in our teaching guide for you this month. You don't want to miss getting your copy of uh, Survival Guide for the Soul. Here's how you can get yours. <laughs> 